migrant fire pretty much in Mexico, you guys. Breaking news. Um, things are happening, man. The Lord is visiting the earth in which he made. And he's visiting his people. You know, it's said it's going to start, you know, the destruction at the end of our world. The end of this current world is going to start at the house of Israel. You tribes, you 12 tribes of Israel. It says, Mexico migrants, deadly fire at Juarez Migrant Center. Kills at least 38. Now, this is the BBC News. <laughs> they have this story. A few different places. Okay, I just looked up deadly fire at migrant facility. Um, if, if, even if it was if it was caused by Esau or whatever it was, it was the spirit of the Lord. Okay, it was the spirit of the Lord. You have Bashim Yahushai. He's doing things in the earth, man. It says guards didn't free migrants after fire spread in deadly Mexican detention center. Yeah, and they, they're in the uprise over there, man. At least like 38 people just died, man. Okay. And uh, Jake over there going crazy, man. Okay. And I'm not going to read any of these articles. I might put them in the description box. I want to see that video, but it's taking too long. Now, this is a story that's everywhere. Advocates decry inhumane conditions of Mexico's migrant detention centers after deadly fire. Okay, because they're not worried about Jake. You think these, you know, you think even Jake ain't worried about Jake, man. You know, all these prison houses, all these migrant facility centers. There was not too long ago whenever those migrant children are coming over here and Trump and the American government were putting them in the damn cage, man. They was showing it on the news, man. Putting them in cages, giving them uh, aluminum foil blankets. <laughs> okay, so Esau, Edom don't give a crap about you. None of these devil worshipers do. Okay, and I got a scripture here. Because it's the truth. <laughs> Amos 3 and 6, and it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Okay. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? No, that the Lord does everything, man. He does all of it, man. Which reminds me of this one. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's, it's a, I'm very, you know, I love this one. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I, now this is the Heavenly Father speaking, am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? So the Lord does all these things, man. The Lord causes the fires. Okay? It causes 40 people to get trapped inside of a building. Yeah, they can protest and whatever they want to do, man. But the death, the issues of death are from the Lord. That's why Jake must repent these days, man. Okay? What's that scripture? Issues of death. Let me see if I can find that, man. This is, uh, yeah, Psalm 68. It says, uh, in 20, he that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto our God, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, okay, belong the issues from death, okay? So they belong to the Lord. And unto Yahweh, our power, the Lord belong the issues of death. Okay, so the Lord's the one that has his way in the world where the Lord's the Lord does all these things, man. That just made me think about uh is that Nahum two or is it this one? Nahum one and Okay. This is a. Uh, Yeah, this is Nahum 1 and 3, and it says, The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. So the wicked amongst our people, they're going to get 
they're going to get seeked out by the death angels, man, because we're living in a time where the Lord is making his final moves, man, making his final moves before he has to crack those clouds and, and come and destroy this place, man. Okay. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind. That means tornadoes, hurricanes, all that stuff, mass fires, snowstorms, earthquakes, all that, man. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind, in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry and drieth up all the rivers, man. All these rivers in America getting dried up all across the world pretty much, especially in America, the Mississippi, the Colorado River, the all these different places. You got the Euphrates River. Okay, so, hey, it's all the Lord. The Lord is doing it, man. Verse six or verses five, the mountains quake at him and the hills melt. Okay, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yeah, the world and all that dwell therein who can stand before his indignation. And nobody can stand before the Lord's indignation, man. Okay, and the Lord is visiting our people, man. That's why Jake, you must repent, man. And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire. And there you go, man. You see? There you go. Okay. Migrant, at least 39 killed. It said 38 earlier. All these articles, they're different. Dozens injured at fire at Migrant Center. Okay. And Jake, want to come over here. Jake, I always want to come over here to the Americas, man. And, and, and that's being done by the Lord to gather all these people over here to, to gather his elect. Because he's going to take his elect out of uh, those different tribes and different nations, man. Okay? Wherever they're scattered, it's like you. And I'm not going to read through the article. I just wanted to get some scriptures real quick. But this is breaking news right now. This is Ecclesiasticus, a.k.a also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28. And I'll close off here. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Now, who made these spirits? Okay. The Lord, our God, our Heavenly Father, made the spirits, man. Verse 29, fire. Look at that right there in hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance, man. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. The sword can be not only a real sword. It could be the guns, missiles, nuclear warheads, uh, manufactured famine, uh, uh, meat processing plants getting burned down. Bill Gates buying up all the farmland. Forcing all types of vaccines on all these people and kids, blood clots. Those are swords. Anything that can kill people is a sword. Sicknesses, different uh, diseases. Those are all swords, man. Created in labs, places. Those are swords, man. So it says, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Train derailments of uh, chemicals being leaked into different rivers and different lakes and different water systems that go into your body eventually. That's a sword, man. Okay, because it's killing you. It's it's still killing you. It's killing you slowly. The food that we eat, all these things are swords, man. <clears throat> that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has in his power. Okay. He has it in his power to, to bring forth these swords, man. It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. These are all spirits, man. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. See, these different spirits, the spirit of fire, the spirit of famine, the spirit of death, they do everything the Lord tells them to do. You humans are the only ones worshiping idols and doing everything else that the Lord tells you not to do, man. They do exactly what the Lord says. And, 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 he re and they rejoice in doing it, man. They don't say, uh, well, maybe I'm going to wait for it here in a minute and... I'll do it tomorrow and all that other crap. No, they hurry up and do it, man. They hurry up and get the will of the Heavenly Father done, man. Okay, like this fire over here, man. You know? Like this fire. 
It's just they're killing us. Anger grows at their deadly fire at Mexican Migrant Center. Okay? And, and you can say what you want, the conditions and all that. You know, it's all the Lord, man. Jake is going to be in those kind of conditions, man. In the ghettos, man. <laughs> You know, the scriptures, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, the, the curses, man, they 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 apply to you too, so-called Mexican and Latino people, man. You know, <laughs> you Mexicans, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. Therefore, you're going to be, you're going to fear for your life, man. Matter of fact, I'll close off with this, man. I'll close off with this. Deuteronomy 28, I think it's like. Um, maybe 60 something. Yeah, 65. Yep. It says, uh, I'll start at 64. Yeah, because over in Mexico, who do they worship, man? You know, they worship the day of the dead. They worship, uh, everything besides Yahweh Bashi Shai. This is 64. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. That's why we're scattered everywhere in different countries, man. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone, man. Okay, always uh, serving other gods besides the Lord, man. And here's the point. And among these nations thou shalt find no ease. We in the ghettos, man. Neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. Okay? But the Lord, Yahweh, shall give thee there a trembling heart. You know, always stressed out. Constantly having strokes and heart attacks, uh, body all kind of messed up, man. Living in the ghettos, uh, killing each other, a trembling heart, man, and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Verse 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee every day. Don't know if you're going to uh, die or not. Don't know if you're going to get, uh, you know. Don't know if you're going to get arrested and and, and, and and jailed because these damn cracker ass cops hate your guts. OK, it says in thy life, Deuteronomy 28 and 66, in thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, man. OK, that's why you're trying to get over here to America. You don't like the conditions over there in Mexico. Well, guess what? Sooner or later, America going to be like the conditions over there in Mexico. And, you know, you, you're just going to be stuck. You know, you got Americans trying to get into Mexico and Latino Latinos and, and Mexicans trying to get into America. Like the Lord is the Lord is causing all this to happen, man. Yeah. And our life hanging doubt before us everywhere we go in this place, man, in America, in Mexico, Canada, wherever you are. And you and Jake, that's how you know you Israelite, because you're constantly worried about everything. Okay, because of the curses, man. And thou shalt fear day and night and shall, shall have no assurance of thy life. Okay, you see? You have no assurance of thy life. You're sitting there protesting and all this because of the conditions of the, 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 the um, conditions of the uh, Mexican, uh, the uh, border uh, facility that got burned down, man. You know, and it could it could be Esau Edom that caused it or whatever happened, man. It was the Lord that did it, man. You know, we just read it in Deuteronomy 28, man. So with that, man, all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Hopefully this message was edifying. Shalom.